Okay, this video is going to be a review of the Blue Sky C B2W dual lens 1080p FHD dash cam. This will be an unboxing and also a setup and review. Why this camera? Well, I spent a bunch of time online and on YouTube going through a ton of videos on getting a dash cam. And most of the reviews online were the top five best or the top ten best dash cameras and not any necessary specific reviews on a certain one. Will this one work for you? Depends on what you want. This is just going to review this one. I could have done what everyone else did and bought a bunch and just reviewed them. But instead I reviewed them via YouTube and searching online and did the research for what I thought was going to be best for what I needed. And that's how I came up with this one. After going over this one and you see what it's like, how it is, how it works, it might be for you, great. I'll have a link down in the description. I got it from Amazon. This is not a paid review. I bought it with my own money because I want to get a dash cam. I used to have the GoPro set up in the car. Uh, it just gets way too hot with the battery sometimes. And that was another reason I picked this one is because it doesn't have an actual battery inside that you charge. And when I went to order it, they actually end up being out of stock for quite a while, for probably, I think two, three, four weeks maybe, they were out of stock, probably because of the chip shortage that we were having. Uh, and it came back online as soon as I saw it, then I got it. So let's open it. just comes right off. Just a basic box. So this is just the reference guide on installing it. There's two different options for mounting it. You can have the suction cup or you can have an I was gonna say permanent adhesive but it's not really permanent but semi-permanent adhesive sticker. And that's what I use for the GoPro. I have one of the GoPro mounts adhesive to my windshield. It's still there. I just don't use the GoPro on there anymore. At some point I'll probably take it off or I might still use it, I don't know. But I'm gonna use the adhesive. I just don't trust these suction cups. I mean, it's gonna be on glass, so it should be pretty good. Just personally, I just don't trust them. Okay. And another reason I picked this one was for the dual camera. I didn't really want to run wires to the back window to set up a second camera back there. A lot of dash cams just have one camera facing forward and there's a decent amount that have two cameras but you have to mount the second camera to the back window so that means running wires up through your ceiling or under the car seats. I chose this one because it's two and, they're, and they turn. Apparently that one doesn't turn all the way. So the left side rotates that way, the right side goes all the way that way. Okay, so being that it's mounted this way this side, which is my right, this will be the front camera. And you can clearly have it all the way out to the side if you want. And then the left side camera will be your rear facing camera, which you can turn it sideways if you want to look out the window. And some of the things that I saw was like if you get pulled over, you can turn this one to face your driver's door to record getting pulled over. So USB connection, it does have a plug for GPS, you can have a separate GPS uh, device. It does have a microphone, so it does pick up sound, it is 1080p. 
not sure what that button does. There's a reset button and micro SD card slot there. And it looks like it's already set up for the adhesive. So that's in there. We do have a regular cigarette lighter. So I'll use the cigarette lighter, which I think mine is kind of in the center. So I'm not going to need all this cable, but you basically plug it in. Pretty much keep it plugged in because this one doesn't get hot because it doesn't have an actual battery in there. You plug it in, and it also has an extra connection on the back here. So you're not. I don't use anything in my lighter anyway, but. It does have a spot that's open for a USB port. And this just looks like mounting. That'll peel it off, I guess. I am not sure what all these little small ones are for. Oh, cables, I see. So it does have a bunch of little mounts that have, if you can see that, that have a little spot for a cable to slide through. So you can mount these probably either to the window or wherever you're going to run the cable down to get power. That's kind of cool. What have we got? USB. Okay. And from what I recall, this was for the initial setup, and I'll have to see. But you plug this in, you can plug it into your computer to either download the files or do the initial setup, I think is what it was for. There's the suction cup, which I won't be using, but... That has a lock and unlock. Let's just put on the flat surface and then it just pulls itself down. Just trying to see how that connects to that. Okay, so offhand I don't see how that connects to there. It looks like you have to take the screw out and that would take off the adhesive thing. And then Oh, there is a little slot. I can't see it, but there is a little slot. So this would just go down into there. And what do we have here? So there's two of these. I'm not sure what these are for. It's even bigger. I don't know what these are for. Dash camera, audio, video, recording for security. Oh, so it has a little, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it does have a little warning sticker you can put on your car saying that there is a dash camera that is running. I don't think I want to put that on my car, but that's kind of cool. And a 32 gig micro SD card. And from what I recall on this one, I'll have to pull up the information, but it will record it will record directly to the SD card until it fills up and then it will just keep overwriting it. And it will start automatically when your car starts. It will start recording. So it says that these are like there's only supposed to be one, so it looks like they got two of them in here by accident. But it says this is a windscreen mount. I don't know why or what for. Please paste the electrostatic film near the top of the front windscreen of the car. Please insert the SD card and USB power cable into the device. Please stick the device onto the dotted box. So it does peel apart. 
it doesn't appear to be sticky by any means. Dual lens design, ultra wide angle lenses, 103 degrees horizontal view, full HD, 1920 by 1080, invisible infrared cabin illumination using four IR LEDs. So that was the other reason I got it, is these four are for the night vision. For the front, oh, no, only on the cabin one. Not on that one, which makes sense, you're driving. So just on the interior cabin. Super capacitor power supply. So don't worry about batteries swelling and the high temperatures. Voice announcements for memory card error, file lock, Wi-Fi and app support provides setup, playback, and video clip download to iPhone and Android devices. So you can have it send directly to your phone. Loop recording ensures the camera never stops recording. So I said, just keep overriding the video clips. And there's an optional hardware kit that you can purchase separately. So when you park the car, you can have it still recording while it's parked. Micro SD memory card, separate purchase, supports capacity of up to 400 gig, which I had purchased the 128, so I might use that one, but we'll see. But it comes with 32 gig, it, like I said, it just keeps overriding the clips that are on there, so it won't run out of space, basically. It will support up to a 400 gig card. Oh, so the button on top was to lock the current video, so basically that video doesn't get overwritten, so if you want to, if there's something you want to record and you don't want it overwritten, you just hit that button and it'll save that video. Just make sure you turn the camera off before inserting or removing the SD card. Micro SD card is sold separately even though it comes with one, but it doesn't say... Oh, class 10. So it must have a class 10 or UHS-1 rating or better. And this one says C10, 32 gig. So it's between 16 gig and 400 gig is the size for the memory card. Make sure you format the memory card before you use it. And it looks like a 400 gig card will last one day and 10 hours. 256 will, it will last 22 hours. The 32 gig card that I have will last for three hours. That's at 60 frames per second. So they want you to do a quick test before you install it. Insert a memory card. Using the USB cable, connect the camera to a USB power bank or a five volt USB phone wall charger for a quick test before installing it in your car. Do not plug it into a computer. Camera should start video recording in a few seconds. We'll show output from both cameras. If necessary, format the car SD card before you can start. Okay, and then the rest of this is just a bunch of over the different modes. So the camera installation. So I was correct on the back thing. It looks like it just snaps off and then you put the suction cup one onto there. So that just slides, the whole thing slides up. I thought they took the screws out, but it's a little off. I was looking at this little piece. So that just slides in there. And then you just can replace it with that one. By the looks of it, it looks like they want you to install it right there on that side, which would be the right side of the rear view mirror. And then you can run the cable all the way down the side, so the cable's out of the way and down to the charging port. So you're still going to have to run cables, and that's what all these little stickies are for running the cables. Yeah, so it sounds like you need to clean the windshield, remove any grease, and then you peel the protection film off of these, well, one of these anyway. That sticks to the window, which didn't feel like it was sticky, so it will somehow stick to the window. So yeah, so then you want to make sure this is vertical, to so make sure the camera lenses are vertical if the windshield is going to be here, you want to make sure these are completely vertical, depending on where your windshield is. So this is going to face down towards you, pretty much. So the rest of this is just setting up the optional GPS, setting it up in the car, setting up the camera, and setting up the smartphone app. So that is the extent of that. So I'll go move out to my car, and we'll get this set up. Okay. So we get a power bank. So it says to do a quick test before you install it in your car. So take the, I took all the little screen things off everything, but you put the memory card in. 
push it in until it clicks. And then it says that you plug it in and it will start recording as soon as you plug it in. So it looks like it's basically picture in picture. It says to format the card first, but as soon as you plug it in, it just starts recording. Okay, so that looks like it takes the picture in picture out. Oh, that changes you through all the different ones. So, I don't know what that was. So it starts off by default with picture in picture. So you have the front camera, small little one, the rear camera. It's the bigger one. Press it once. Take that back. This is the front camera. That's the rear camera. So it takes the rear camera away. The rear camera is the little small window. The front camera is the bigger one. So you press it once. It takes that rear camera out and just shows that one. Press it again and it swaps it and shows you the rear camera, which I turned the lights off, but I got a bunch of lights on. But when you turn on, the default working mode is recording with Wi-Fi disabled. So just plugging in, doing nothing to it, it will just go right into recording mode, but the Wi-Fi will not be enabled. To enter standby mode from the recording mode, press OK. So if you want to just pause it, press OK, that goes into standby. So to get into the menu mode, you first have to go into standby, which it is, and then you hit the M to get you into menu mode, and then the left and right arrows. We'll scroll through the menu. So I know I said I was going up to my car to set this up, but I wanted to do the in-home test first, and then just run through the menu before I went out there. So that's the basics of the menu. So now we'll head up to the car. Okay, in the car. So Here, where it says to put it, I can just plug it in. Just need to figure out something with this cable. I don't know what I can do with that just yet. So I'll have to mount that. But if I have it way over here, I can't really reach over and press the buttons or do anything with it. So I don't know how that's going to work. I have my GoPro one here. But if I put this one here, it kind of does block my view. That's why they say to put it over on this side, I guess. Um, Alright, well, I do have a lighter thing down in here. I have a USB because I have a cord in here. So there's a USB plug and there's a lighter down there as well. I need to figure out these crazy things. Apparently they stick to the window, I guess. We'll see. Alright, well, I got a few things to figure out, I guess. So I am going to. stuck to the window a few little air bubbles that I had to push out and then just push this on here for about 10 seconds right in the center it's said to put this thing onto the window cling first which doesn't make any sense I didn't do that I put the window cling on first because I had to push out a few bubbles in there so I would do the window cling first there's still a few little bubbles, but I got most of them out because there's a couple of big ones in the middle, but just be careful getting bubbles. I got the bubbles pushed out, and then it says to hold this on here for 10 seconds. So trying to push 
this camera onto here for 10 seconds before you put it on the window. It just seems weird. So either I misread the directions, but I read it quite a few times. It just doesn't make any sense. It says peel the protection film off the 3M pad on the camera and then fix the camera on the selected location, making sure they're both vertical and then push it against the glass for 10 seconds. So I don't know, I don't know, I guess you could do it that way, but I push it against the glass first. But it seems to be stuck on there pretty good. It says the strength of the bond will increase over the next few days. But it is blazing hot out here, so I'm hoping it doesn't just fall off. But it looks pretty level. I mean, you can't really measure or anything like that, but just try and get it as level as you can. Um, I'm gonna bring a, go. I'm gonna go grab a cloth and wipe off the lenses. Cause I've been having to touch it and hold it while I put it on there. So I'm gonna wipe the lenses off and then figure out what to do with this cord. Because, I mean, it reaches to it right there. I can plug it right in. Except for this is upside down. You would think it would go like this, but it plugs in this way, which is kind of dumb because it's gonna pull on the cord, but I didn't design it, so I don't know. It just doesn't make sense that it would be upside down that way. Because you're you're putting a strain on the cord. Well, okay, I see why they did that, yeah. Because it says, so it goes that way because they want you to run the cord up here and across and down the windshield, not just directly down here, so that makes sense. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to mount this thing up here somehow. I don't know. And then I'm gonna go install the app and get that set up. Okay, that took a little bit of thinking. I was trying to get a zip tie into here somehow, just attach this cord into here, just to hold it, and then run the cable up there. But the cable is still getting pulled on up here, so I finally just wrapped the wire. Hey, I'll see it. Maybe. So I wrapped the wire around the back here. I don't know if you can see that too well, but I wrapped the wire around the rear view mirror, basically. And then just let it come down and hang. And since I couldn't attach that, I just moved this lid down just a little bit and the cable just fits right there. And it's not really pushing anything, so it's not blocking the air. And it just is right there. So that worked out pretty good. So, as you can see, it's running. Or if I want it not facing me, I can turn it way over there. Or you can turn. It says you can turn the different options to turn the front or the rear or both. Uh, and if you do just the front camera, you can do a little bit higher quality as well. But I'm doing, hopefully, see F plus R, 12 plus 12. So it's doing the front and the rear camera, both at 12 meg. Yeah, it was the, if you do just the front camera, it was front 60 frames per second. The front and rear, you could do 12 plus 12 megabits per second, front and rear views, or you can do front and rear where the front is 16 and the rear is only eight. So you get a better quality on the front than you do the rear. Okay, yeah, it's all wired in. It seems to be sticking. Just gonna go set up the app now. Okay, so for after messing around with it for a little while, I got the app on my phone. It wasn't the Blue Sky C app. That I don't know what that app is. Um, it is the the road one, uh, the one that they tell you to download in the book. That was the right one connected to the phone just fine and I tried to take a screenshot or a picture and that didn't seem to save so I don't know what happened there but um, 
after a while of using it, I was able to download a couple of video clips, so I'll add those here. So my windshield is very dirty, so I don't know how well these two videos will look. So, I mean, as you can see, it's quite dirty. So we'll see how the two videos are just downloading right now. So I'll add those onto this video when I edit this video. So you can see what the camera quality looks like. But that is about it. It's all set up, ready to go. And then you can just download the videos that you want to save from your phone. It basically just kind of shows you all the videos that are on there. And then you can just select the ones you want and just download them to your phone. So that's pretty simple. So I think that is about it. I don't really have anything else. It is all set up, all done. I'll add in those other clips at the end so you can see the quality, but that's it. If you want to get this one, go ahead and I have a link down in the description to go to Amazon. If you want to buy it without using my link, I don't really care. That's perfectly fine. Um, it just helps by supporting the channel so I can make more videos. But like I said, I went through, I did a bunch of research on my own. And that's why I came up with this one. Um, and like I said, a lot of the cameras were all front facing. This one had a rear facing camera with night vision as well. It just seemed to be the best out of all of them. And like I said, it was sold out for quite a while. So hopefully when you go to get it, you can get one. If not, just wait a few weeks and check back. All right, thanks for watching.